Well, hello everyone. Hopefully you're doing pretty well today. My name is Deborah, and welcome to my channel, Crafty Chalk and Creations. Today I'm going to do a project using the whiteboard and base. This is a reusable surface, and it is double-sided. You can have it set up uh, vertical or also horizontal. And I'm going to be using this transfer. This is a last chance transfer. Once uh, they pull it or it sells out, it's going to be gone. And this is called Kiss the Cook. And it's a two-part. This is a size B transfer. It's an 8.5 by 11. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put food and family and friends on one side. I'm going to put Kiss the Cook on the other side. Now, I have... This transfer is not available. This is called Hugs and Kisses. I was thinking about putting the lips up there for Kiss the Cook. Uh, I'm not going to do that because this is not available. But if you do have this transfer... You can use the lips, or if you want, just go ahead and brush on and paint your own lips on there if you'd like If you'd like that idea. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Like I said, this is the whiteboard and base. All right, uh, I'm going to be using three colors today. I'm going to be using Shimmer Crimson. I'm going to be using Black Velvet. And I'm going to be using Camel. Okay. Now, any of the products from Chalk Couture that I am using, as long as they're, it is available at the time of posting this video, I will have it posted down below in an editable shopping cart link, which means you can add, subtract, you can change the colors, whatever it is, or you might want to add more transfers. Like I said, you might want to get other colors of paste. You're welcome to do that. It is editable. All right, I'm going to uh, also be using my small squeegee, my multi-tool, and my mini squeegee. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get started here. This is also a fuzzing cloth. Now, if you don't have a fuzzing cloth, you can just use a towel, a sweatshirt, a t-shirt. You just want something that is going to take some of the, the stickiness off the back of it. These transfers are reusable, okay? They do come in a plastic sleeve, and they also have care instructions on that. Keep this. You can use that for storage. And I've already written on the back of it, and why I do that is because this is the matte side, and your transfer is adhered to the shiny side. And that is the side, once you clean and your transfer is dry, you want to adhere it back to your backing. All right, I'm going to peel this off, and I'm going to fuzz this for a little bit. And I'm just, you know, as you can see, that they're sticky. Like I said, they are reusable. I think this would be really cute on an apron. I don't have an apron to put this on, but I thought this thing would be really adorable on an apron. So if you have an apron and you want to get some ink, just do it all in one color in white, or if you have a, uh, you know, like if you have a black apron, or let's say you have a white apron, just go ahead. Oops, this flipped up on itself. If it does that, don't panic. Just gently pull it apart. Okay, I think that's good for that that one right now. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and fuzz this one. Now this is called a backing sheet that I'm peeling these transfers off of. Some people call them stencils, some of them transfers. There's a silk mesh screening. I'm not 100% sure it's silk, but there is a fine mesh screening in there. It's like a silk screening is uh, what you're doing here and you're putting the paste through it. I'm going to fuzz this that way when I'm ready to do the other side we're not going to have to fuzz this. But if any time during this video see just gently pull it apart you this gives you some inspiration or it gives you some ideas maybe color combinations um, for a project Please do me a favor. It helps me with YouTube, and I would greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe, like this video, and click that notification bell, so that way you'll be notified of whenever I do another video. Okay, I think that will be fuzzed enough. So I'm going to set my fuzzing cloth aside, and I'm going to do this one first. Kiss the hook. And another reason, because this is last chance, I want you to get a chance to get this transfer I thought, you know what, summer is, well, I'm in Michigan, so it's not really quite summer, but I'm not sure the rest, of the rest of the country in the United States is feeling like summer. And I thought, you know what, there's a lot of barbecues, family gatherings. This would be a perfect saying to have, you know, just to put a little sign on your kitchen and your counter. 
so your guests and your family can see it. Now the board and base here, there is some depth to it, as you can see there. So what I do is I leave my board in, in the base, so that way I can line it up, and that way I'm not possibly setting my transfer design too low, and then my base covers it. Now, you are welcome to measure. I have a tendency to eyeball things. If it's a little crooked, just tilt your head. But, you know, you can, like, you can say, like I said, you can go ahead and, and measure if you want. Now, once I think I have it positioned where I like it, I usually put my finger in the middle, go up, down, side to side, and then I start smoothing over with my hands. Okay, I can remove this from my base now that I have it positioned. And why that is is because you want to make sure when you fuzz, you don't have a little fuzzy stuck back there on, on the back side that could prevent good contact with your surface. You also want to make sure you don't have a little air bubbles or wrinkles. And sometimes, if, if I think there might be, I go over with my small or mini squeegee just in that area and just to make sure that it is smooth. Smooth. Well, okay. All right, I just want to make sure it's not going to stick too good because if it sticks too well, you could possibly stretch and run your transfer. All right, I am going to be using, and now the jars of paste, when you get the jars of paste, you do want to stir them. I've already pre-stirred them with the stir sticks to save a little bit of time here. I'm going to do, I'm going to use my small squeegee. I'm going to do the and the cook in the black. Now, seeing that I'm using multicolors here, you can do the peel and lift method, peel and lift method, if you would like, if you don't want to, you know, not able to move as quickly. But I'm going to try to go through this pretty fast. And if I notice it's drying, then I will just peel it up, because you do not want your paste drying in your mesh screen transfer, because it's harder for, to get it clean. And if there's any paste that's stuck in there, then your next time you go to use your your transfer, your design may not come out as crisp and clear. Now, I do want to let you know that some of the paste colors do stain your transfers. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Okay, I'm going to do a little dot over here in black. You just want to make sure when you clean your transfer that it is nice and, you know, it clear. Clear of any of the paste. All right, I'm going to use my multi-tool and the camel. This is the camel for the little rolling pin here. Now you don't have to do it all brown. You could get as much detail and change your own colors that you would like to do. I'm going to scrape off the excess here, and I will get on uh, scrape off the excess on the black here in a bit. All right, I'm going to go in that crimson red. Oh, I love that color. And I'm going to do Kiss in that color. And this has got a nice shimmer. This is a shimmer crimson. I absolutely love this. I did a uh, December's Club in this color. Oh, it turned out gorgeous. All right, now I'm going to use my small squeegee scrape off this excess black. And why you want to scrape off the axis is that way you know you have good, even coverage. And now it is time for the peel and reveal. I usually start in the corners here and then pull up. You want to slowly lift up, and why that is is that way if you missed a spot, you can lay it back down and touch it up. And so far, it looks good. Now this does have some distressing in it, in the font. So that's why you see some areas. See, there's some distressing there. Those little black spots that was distressing already in the transfer. And that's how that side looks. Now I have an extra towel that I'm laying down my transfer on until I can get it to the sink to clean it at home. As soon as you know you're done with your transfer, go ahead and clean it. That gives your project a chance to uh, to dry. All right, that's the black, that's the red, and that is the camel. I have an extra little plate here that I, I put some of my tools on. Now you can let this air dry until you get to the uh, next project, you know, the other side. 
speed things along. You can use a hair dryer, you can kind of fan it dry. I'm going to use my little heat tool here. So that way when I flip it over, I don't risk my paint, or not my paint, my paste being wet and then smearing my, my project. Now this is a reusable surface. You can clean this. I do have a video where I, it's, it's an older video, but I will post a link to that down in the description box. And also at the end of this video, if you'd like to see how to clean reusable trans, uh, uh, surfaces, the board and base. The one that I clean in that video is a black one. It's a black board and base. Okay. That feels like it's dry. Now I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put this back in its base so I can position this. Now, like I said, you can measure it if you want to be precise. Um, it might be just off a little bit. Okay. I think that looks good. Oh, another, well, I've already gotten my transfer wet, but another, if you want to put it lower and put the little rolling pin at the top, you could do that too. All right, I believe that looks good. I'm going to pull my base off. Now I'm going to take my finger up the middle, top, side to side, and I'm going to smooth it over. I've got a couple little air bubbles here. Try to make sure I have good contact. Okay, my squeegee is dirty at the moment. Let me see if I have another one. I've got a little mini squeegee here. I'm going to use that and go over this and make sure I don't have any other air bubbles in there that I may have missed. Okay. And there we go. Now I'm going to do all this in black and I'm going to do and in the crimson. Okay, so I'm done with the camel. I'm going to close that back up. Like I said, you can use any colors that you would choose that you would like that would fit in the home decor for your your event. Maybe you're having a theme theme party. And you could just use elements of it. Maybe you want to just use the word family on a different project. Maybe you want to just use friends. Maybe you just want family and friends. You want to use the food part. You could do that also. Okay, I'm going to do it down here. Now I'm trying to generously apply this. Now your squeegee does have a bevel side, and that is the side that I am using to apply the paste. Trying to make sure I have everything covered here. Now I'm going to scrape off the excess back into the jar. I'm going to go dip into my cream. Oh, I love that color. I absolutely love this. And I'm going to do the and word and just that little section it's a little tight you could use a multi-tool if you have it okay and then I'm going to do those little dots on either side in the black I'm just going to use the little tip of my squeegee there all right now I'm going to scrape off the excess make sure I have good even coverage and you can see some of the design coming through. That's how you know you've, you've peeled, um, scraped off enough. All right, now I'm going to slowly peel. Food, family, and friends. There we go. I'm going to lay this back over here until I can get it to the sink to wash it. I'm going to spritz it down with some water. Put my cap back on. Now, you can go ahead and let this air dry if you like. But I'm just going to set it there so that way you can see it. There's the one side. And then you've got to kiss the cook on the other. I hope you enjoyed this project and it gave you some ideas and that you're able to get this transfer, Kiss the Cook. 
while it is still available. I will, like I said, I will post a link down in the description box with the edible shopping cart link with all the products as long as they're available on Chaka Tour. And I, if you just want this transfer, I will post a separate link just for the transfer. Thank you so much for watching and you enjoy your day.